Hi students, let us continue with the topic, the things in the uh, unified modeling language. So the thing is one of the building block of unified modeling language. The things are divided into four kinds, structural, behavioral, grouping, and notation. Now let us see the first one that is a structural thing. So what is a structural thing? A structural thing, you call it as a static part of a model. Structural thing is a static part of a model representing elements and their conceptual or physical. So it just representing elements that, uh, that are either conceptual or a physical. That element may be a conceptual or physical. The different types of static things, that is a structural things are classes, interfaces, collaborations, use cases, active classes, components and nodes. These are all comes under the static part. They are just representing static. They are not the dynamic. So that's why we call it as a structural things. Don't be confused. So now we are discussing the uh, things. So in uh, let me just revise you for every every topic. I'm just revising where we where I'm um, explaining. UML building blocks. Okay. So I said UML building blocks are of three types. What are those? Things. Relationships. And diagrams so UML building blocks are of three uh, three building blocks are the things relationship diagrams whenever you combine all these things then you'll get a building block so in the things a things again divided into structural behavioral grouping and notational so up to here we discussed so now we are discussing about what is a structural now we are starting here so after completion of structure I'll explain behavior next grouping next notational. so we are now talking about the things only so again this structural will be uh, it's structural things are nothing but a static part of a model representing elements that are either conceptual or physical so those elements are classes interfaces so whatever i said the collaborations use cases active classes components and nodes now let us see what is a class what is an interface so we are now in this stage the structure so first what is a class a class is a description of set of objects that share the same attributes, operations, relationships and semantics. So this is a class representation. It's a class. A class is a set of objects will be there. So those objects share the same attributes, operations, relationships and semantics meanings. So a class implements one or more interfaces. So here this first box is the, indicates the class name. And here the window is the class name, origin and uh, size is the attributes and the window that has to be open or a close like that, okay. Open, close, move, display or the operations that are performing on the class. So this is the representation of class. So whenever you ask about what is a class, a class is a description of set of objects that shares the same attribute, operations, relationships and semantics. Now let us come to the second structural thing that is the interface. Interface is a collection of operations that specify a service of a class or a component. It just is specifying the service of a class or a component. Just providing service that you call it as an interface. Interface acts as just a dummy part means it's just specifying a service is providing to the class. It describes externally visible behavior of that element. Attach it to the class or a component that relies the interface. So this is a circle shape which is a I is a interface, interface spelling. It's just connected to the class or a component. Just connected to class or a component. So this interface describes the externally visible behavior of that element. So that is the second structural thing. And the next structural thing was collaboration. A collaboration defines an interaction. It's just collaboration means it is acting as an interaction 
which have structural as well as behavioral dimensions. So I said uh, collaboration is one of the structural thing. Even though it is structural thing, it can also uh, provide some behavioral dimensions also. So if a given class may participate in several collaborations. So the collaborations can be represented like a dotted uh, oval shape. There is a chain of responsibility. So next structural thing is a use case. Use case is just represented in a solid oval shape. So this is a dotted oval shape and here this is represented. Use case is represented as a solid oval shape, a place order. Use case, a description of set of sequence of actions that a system performs that yields to observable result of value to a particular actor. Means one particular actor is going to perform some action that can be represented in use case. So it realized by collaboration. And the next structural thing is active class. Active class is just like a class except that its object represent elements whose behavior is concurrent with other elements. Here only the difference between the class and the uh, active class is that here uh, the elements object represents the elements whose behavior is concurrent with other elements just the behavior is concurrent to other elements so the active class will be represented with the solid lines solid box so whenever you see in the solid box it represents the active class the class name and the operations and coming to the next uh, structural things is component a component is a physical and repress, uh, replaceable part of a system so this is the uh, diagram for the component uh, so this component is nothing but it is a replaceable part of a system you call it as a physical and replaceable part of a system that conforms to and provides the realization of set of interfaces and it represents a physical packaging of classes interfaces and collaboration so what do it mean what exactly the component will do it's just i said it is a replaceable part what it means uh, let me take one example if you take the package why you are writing a package uh, in the starting of the program because the package consisting of some set of functions that is the predefined functions already stored in the package so whenever we are executing the program so that package will be linked to our program and simple words i'll tell uh, if you take the c program in the c program uh, we are including stdio.h header file so that stdio.h is a replaceable part of a system uh, because uh, it is having some group of functions so whenever we want to use that a function which is present in stdio.h we just replace that header files so in the here order form dot java so dot java is an extension for that file so here all the order form information will be stored in that particular folder that complete folder will be replaced uh, that will be called whenever the program is executing so that is a component is just a replaceable part of a system so whenever it requires it's just called the replaceable part of a system and we are executing the program again it is a the next physical thing, uh, structural thing was node. Node is a physical element that exists at runtime. It can exist at runtime and represents a computational resources having at least some memory and often processing capability. So far, whatever we are discussing is just a pictorial representation, whereas a node is having some uh, computational resource will be present and this will be exist at the time of uh, runtime. And it is having some, at least some memory and often processing capabilities also there for the node. So the node represented like a cube. So means it is having some computational resource. It indicating it is having some computational resource. And it is having the processing capabilities just like a server. The server you call it as a node. A set of component that may reside, a uh, set of components may reside on a node and may also migrate it from node to node. So these are the different structural things that are present and uh, in the next video we will discuss the remaining things that is uh, behavioral things, grouping things, annotational things. Thank you.